All right, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for your WrestleMania review for April 1st and April 2nd, 2023. It's all the pay-per-view for both nights. I thought night two was better than night one. Uh, the two matches pushed it over to be better than night one for night two. The main event with Roman Reigns and Cody Rhodes. And then the triple threat IC title match, which I thought was going to steal the show prior to the whole card between uh, McIntyre, Sheamus, and Gunther. Uh, best match night one was probably the main event. Usos versus uh, Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn. Worst match was... Uh, Austin Theory versus John Cena. Thought that was a disappointment. Night two, best match. Got to go with the main event. Prior to that, it was the triple threat with the IC title, but main event just fucking killed it. And then worst match was the women's match, the Fatal 4 tag. Nobody really fucking cared about that. Crowd was pretty much dead for that. So, yeah, that match sucked. And then night one, I'll give 7 out of 10. Pretty good night one, and then night two, a little bit better. I'll give it an eight out of ten. Solid show overall. All right, let's get to it. First up, WrestleMania night one. We got Austin Theory versus John Cena. Cena hit a shoulder tackle on Theory. Then Theory, uh, Austin Theory bits John Cena's fucking ear. I think he's Mike Tyson or some shit. Uh, Theory hit a suplex for a two count. And Cena hit a suplex. Theory hit a neck breaker for a near fall. Cena locked in his STF uh, submission move. And then Austin Theory bit John Cena's uh, hand this time. Just biting this guy. Cena might have to get a fucking rabies shot. Uh, Theory hit a DDT for a two count. And then the ref got knocked down. Cena applied the STF again. This time he got it and Theory tapped. Cena thought he won. He starts celebrating. Uh, he sees the ref is down. And then Austin Theory low blows Cena. And he hits the A-Town down for the win. That was it for that. All right. Next match, we got oh wait, oh, this one. Fatal 4-Way Tag Showcase match. Uh, they could have just done this match on like a random Raw or SmackDown. They just wanted to try to get everybody on the card as much as they could. As many people. Got Strowman and Ricochet versus the Street Profits versus the Viking Raiders versus Gable and versus Chad Gable and Otis. Uh, a brawl broke out between the teams, and then Viking Raiders hit a clothesline combo. Then the Raiders hit a Ragnarok on Montez Ford. Uh, Chad Gable fucking German suplex Braun Strowman. That got a good pop from the crowd. Braun hit a splash on Ibar like it's a fucking cruiserweight from the top rope. And then, uh, so they did, uh, like a multi, multi-man combo or whatever. Two guys on the bottom, uh, was it two guys in the middle and then one guy on top and then Ricochet went, they, so they moved away from the turnbuckle and Ricochet got on the top rope and then he pretty much just put the pile over on the ground. He did like a dive off the top rope. And then Strowman did his classic Strowman Express spot around the ring. So he ran through like three people. He went around the first time. And then he went around again and he hit like two people. And then uh, Angel Dawkins just fucking rocked him. And just dropped his ass on the ground. And then Ricochet hit a shooting star press to the, uh, to the outside. This was an insane spot. And then back in the ring, Ricochet dove off the top rope again. This time Dawkins got the knees up. And uh, Ricochet was just on his knees. And then Montez Ford got up to the top rope and he hit the frog splash for the win. Solid tag match, I guess. So maybe uh, now the Street Profits will get a tag title shot against uh, Owens and Zayn. Or maybe they split the titles and then they get one of the tag titles, I guess. You can do that. Some shit. I don't know. Uh, next up, we got Seth Rollins versus Logan Paul. Logan Paul threw Seth over the top rope. So just doing the whole uh, Royal Rumble elimination, pretty much doing that again. And uh, Logan Paul held held up like two fingers, like the second time. I got you twice or whatever. Uh, Logan Paul hit a crossbody for a two count. And then Logan went for a moonsault. Seth moved out of the way. And then Seth hit a suicide dive to the outside. Logan punched Seth for a near fall. He did that knockout punch like he did twice on uh, against uh, Rollins on Raw a 
couple of times. Got a near fall. Seth hit a power bomb for a two count, and then so there was this guy in dressed up in or in a prime bottle. I guess it's a sponsor or some shit. And then the guy took his mask off, or he I think he pulled he pulled Rollins out the ring, and then he took his mask off. It's this KSI guy or some shit, Logan Paul's buddy, some YouTuber. I don't know, some random guy. And then uh, Seth is in, on the announce table. And then KSI is on the table or whatever. He's like videotaping it on his phone. And then uh, Seth pulls uh, KSI onto the table. And Logan Paul does a diving splash off of the top rope to the, to the announce table on his buddy KSI. And then uh, back in the ring, Seth Rollins had a pedigree on Logan Paul for a near fall. Logan Paul hit the GTS. Shout out to ZM Punk. Did his move. Then he hit Frog Splash for a two count. And then Seth hit a super kick and a curb stomp for the win. Another solid match. This was the early favorite for match of the night, but it got overtaken by a couple other matches. Logan Paul's he's not too bad in the ring. He's better than a lot of the guys on the roster. Even though he's a rookie. Third or fourth match, I think. Only in his career. So yeah, uh, this was apparently his last match on his contract, so he'll probably re-sign for another deal with WWE to get more matches, I guess. He's only on the like the big shows like Rumble, WrestleMania, and SummerSlam and shit. Yeah, so that was it for that. All right, next up we got Trish, Lita, Becky Lynch, and Damage Control for Trish, Lita's, and Becky Lynch's entrance. They did like a, I don't know, it was like a comic book thing. It reminded me of like DC comics or Marvel comics, so it was pretty cool. And then when they came out, the screen like turned black and white or some shit. I thought that was dope. All right, let's get to the match. Uh, EO Sky hit a drop kick on Becky Lynch. Damage Control hit a neckbreaker combo, and then Lita hit a clothesline, and then uh, she hit a Hurricane Rana. And then Damage Control hit a triple kick or triple drop kick, I can't remember, on Lita. And then Lita did a double DDT. Trish got the tag, and then she hit a neck breaker. Lita and uh, Becky, so they, they were on the outside. They lifted Trish up to where Dakota Kai was on the top rope. And then she did a hurricane run or whatever onto the rest of the Damage Control on the outside. I thought that was a pretty cool spot. And then uh, Bailey hit the Rose Plant. Her finishing move. Lita broke up the pin, and then Sky did a moonsault to the outside on everyone. And then Lita hit a twist of fate and a moonsault, and then Becky Lynch hit a pump handle slam or whatever it's called, manhandle slam she calls it, on Bailey for the win. Thought this was an okay match. All right, next up got Ray and Dom. It was pretty hilarious. Put their entrances. Dominic was like, they showed a video, he was like in a jail cell somewhere, and then they showed on the video, he was getting into like a police van or whatever, but they held like, they had like criminals and shit, and then, so he shows up in the arena, he's got a mask on, he's, they got the cop, cops got him in handcuffs, and the cops take him to the ring, it was fucking hilarious. And then uh, we had Ray uh, Mysterio, he was in a lowrider, a Snoop Dogg, they were driving a lowrider. And they played uh, Snoop Dogg and Dr. Dre's Nothing But a G song, and then it turned into uh, it turned into Viva La Raza to pay homage to Eddie, and then it was Ray's song. I thought it was pretty cool, but they didn't uh, tilt the lowrider to the side like Eddie did. I thought that would have been better. Yes, but still it was dope. The entrance. All right, let's get to it. Uh, Ray vs. Dom. Ray hit a Hurricane Rana, and then he <laughs> he. Sp- so Dominic's in the corner or whatever, and then Ray pulls his uh, belt out and he spanks Dominic with the belt. That shows hilarious. And then his uh, so his sister and mom were in the front row again. It's time for the match. And then uh, Dom grabbed the drink, uh, his sister's drink, and he threw it in her face. This was hilarious. And then Ray had to restrain her, and then that gave the opportunity for Dom to attack Ray. Dom hit the Michinoku driver back in the ring for a two count. So they're on the outside, and then uh, his mom slapped Dominic. <laughs> Shit was hilarious. And then uh, Ray hit uh, Senton for a near fall. And then uh, uh, Finn Balor and Damian Priest showed up. 
uh, Finn, or I mean, uh, Damian Priest, uh, he was wearing a jacket or whatever, and he left it in the corner. And then uh, uh, Dominic threw Ray head first into the lowest turnbuckle, and then Ray landed a 619, and then the God of Delphi Tasma come out, and then uh, they're also the Latino World Order from last week. Uh, Ray gave them some t shirts to bring them back, the Latino World Order. Uh, Dominic hit a clothesline. And then uh, Dominic hit the 619 on Ray. Dominic went for a, splog, for a frog splash. Ray kicked out. And then Dom hit. He took the padding off. And he grabbed the chain. That was where Damian Priest left his jacket. It was a chain in the jacket. He tried to use it. Bad Bunny was doing commentary on the Spanish announce table. He took the chain away from Dom. And then Ray hit the 619 and the frog splash for the win. This is pretty good. Uh, second best or about second best match on uh, night one, I guess, behind the main event. So it looks like this is going to continue because Dom should win like the last match, I guess, when the feud's over. So yeah, looking forward to this uh, storyline. All right, next up we got Charlotte Flair versus Rhea Ripley for the SmackDown Women's Title. Flair hit a clothesline, then she hit a crossbody. Uh, Rhea Ripley drove uh, Flair's head face first into the turnbuckle. Then uh, Flair hit a DDT. And then both uh, women hit big boots on each other. And then uh, Rhea did a German off of the top rope. She looked brutal because uh, Charlotte Flair like, flipped around and shit. And that was for a two count. And then Rhea Ripley tossed Flair into the steps on the outside. Flair hit a German suplex, and then Rhea hit a German, and then uh, Flair hit a big boot for a near fall, and then Charlotte hit a moonsault on the outside. Rhea hit the riptide for a two count, and then Rhea Ripley did a reverse Texas cloverleaf. And then Flair got to the ropes. Charlotte hit a spear for a near fall, and then Rhea hit the riptide from the second rope for the win. It was a solid match. It started off fucking slow, but it picked up about halfway through. So solid match, I guess. All right. Next up, we got the main event, the Usos versus Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn. Jimmy hit a clothesline on Sami Zayn. KO did a swanton onto the Usos. And then KO did a frog splash on Jay for a two count. Then Jay Uso hit a neckbreaker. Then Jimmy hit a splash up on KO for a near fall. KO hit a swanton, and then Sami Zayn hit a brainbuster on the apron. That shit was fucking brutal. Sami Zayn hit a Uso splash for on Jimmy for a two count, and then the Usos hit a double super kick on Sami Zayn for a near fall. Usos put KO through the announce table, and then the Usos hit the one and the uh, one and done one D. On Sami Zayn, he kicked out. And then uh, Jay hit the Huluba kick on Sami. And Sami hit an Exploder Suplex. KO got the tag. He hit a pop-up powerbomb on the Usos. Uh, KO hit a stunner. Jay Uso kicked out. Usos hit a double splash on KO from uh, both sides of the turnbuckle of the ring. And Sammy hit three Haluba kicks on, I think it was Jay Uso for the win. Pretty good main event. So Uso's title reign of like 600 plus days over for the tag titles. So it looks like, yeah, so Kevin Owens, Sami Zayn, will they continue this? Or I don't know, or they could face the uh, Street Profits for the tag title or for a feud or whatever. And then they set up a match for Backlash. Between Sami Zayn, Kevin Owens, and the Street Profits. So we'll see what they do. So, yeah, pretty solid night for WrestleMania Night One. All right, let's get to. Oh, yeah, and there was a segment with, before the main event with Snoop Dogg and The Miz. The Miz is like, I'm putting out an open challenge or some shit, and fucking nobody answered it. And Pac McAfee came out. This guy hasn't been with the company since like his last appearance was Rumble, I think it was. But he's not on the show every week. So, yeah, it was Pat McAfee versus uh, The Miz. And then George Kittle from the Niners was in the front row. And he clotheslined The Miz. And then so he helped. He pretty much just helped uh, McAfee beat up 
the Miz. So, yeah, that was whatever. I don't know what the fuck the point of that was. Just a wait. All right. It was just a waste of time for that part. All right. Night two, WrestleMania. We got Brock Lesnar versus Omos. Omos hit a slam, and then he applied the bear hug. Omos hit a choke slam for a two count. Brock hit three German suplexes on Omos. And then he hit the F5 for the win. Uh, this was that exciting match. Pretty boring. But still, it's always cool to see Brock, I guess. All right, next up, we got the Fatal 4 a Women's Showcase match between Liv Morgan, Raquel, one team, Ronda and Shayna Baszler, Natalia and Shotzi, and then we had Sonya Deville and Chelsea Green as the fourth team. It was a triple power bomb on Shayna. Shotzi hit a suicide dive. Raquel power bombed Liv onto the outside, and then Raquel hit a fall away slam on Shotzi. Natalia had a double, she did a double sharpshooter on, I think it was Sonya Deville and Chelsea Green. That was pretty cool, I guess. I don't know if she's done this spot before. And then Ronda locked in the arm submission for the win. This is that pretty, match was pretty much fucking boring. The crowd was dead for this. Nobody really cared. And that was it for that. All right. Next up, we got the triple threat match for the uh, Intercontinental title with, uh, Drew McIntyre, Sheamus, and Gunther. Gunther chopped both guys. They chopped the fucking bitches as hell. And then Drew and uh, Sheamus did uh, uh, beat. They did so. Sheamus did the beats of the Baldrin, and then Drew was doing chops to she or to Gunther. So they're double team on Sheamus, and they kept alternating between uh, one beat of the Baldrin and then one chop. I think they did like ten or eleven or some shit on him. And then uh, Sheamus did 28 beat to the powder on fucking Drew McIntyre. It was nuts. Like this is might have been the most he's done in like one on one opponent or whatever. The same uh, same sequence or whatever when he starts to beat to the Bowdrin. And then Gunther hit a German suplex on Sheamus. Drew hit a neckbreaker on Gunther, and then Drew hit the future shock DDT. Gunther hit a power bomb on Drew uh, for a near fall. Sheamus hit white noise from the second rope. This shit was fucking brutal on Gunther from the second rope. And then Sheamus hit a counter cross on Gunther for a two count. Sheamus applied the uh, Texas Cloverleaf on Gunther. And then Drew got a sleeper to break that up. Sheamus hit a bro kick. And then Drew pulled him out. A lot of people thought it was over. Uh, Drew McIntyre pulled him out when he went for the pin and then fucking uh, Drew so he goes for a Claymore and then they don't show Sheamus on camera until he Sheamus just comes in and he fucking hits a bro kick this shit was insane people really thought it was over after this so I thought it was over that was for a two count and then Drew hit a Claymore on Sheamus for a near fall Gunther powerbomb Sheamus, and then he powerbombed Drew McIntyre for the win. Hell of a fucking match. I'm pretty sure I thought Gunther was going to lose the title. He said the belt for a while. I think he won it in... I can't remember. I think it was the summer last year he won it. I forgot it was against. Yeah, but I guess so. Sheamus ain't never... Sheamus and Drew are never going to win the t IC title from Gunther, so... Have to build up another challenger. Maybe Seth Rollins could take the title from him, or maybe Bobby Lashley or somebody. So yeah, we'll see who challenges Gunther next for the IC title, or is like his next big challenger, I guess. Uh, all right. Next up, we got Bianca Belair versus Oscar for the Raw Women's Title. Bianca hit a suplex, uh, and uh, Oscar hit a bulldog. Bianca hit a spine buster for a two count. And then Bianca landed a power bomb on the outside. Bianca hit a back suplex. And then Oscar applied the ankle lock. And then uh, Bianca got out of that. And then Oscar hit a drop kick. Bianca went into the ring post. Bianca lifted uh, Oscar. So she was like standing on the second rope. And then Oscar was on the apron and she lifted her all the way for a fucking suplex. Bianca's a hell fucking strong as hell. And then what was it? So she got that for a two count. And then uh Oscar hit a code breaker for a near fall. And then Oscar, she so she went to spray the mist because the referee was turned around. He got bumped by one of them. 
Oscar went to, for the miss. Uh, Bianca moved out of the way and she missed. And then Bianca hit her finisher, KOD for the win. It's an okay match, I guess. For the Raw Women's title. So we'll see. So now Bianca said the belt for a year. So I don't know who could knock her off. Maybe they do Becky Lynch again. Or I don't know, maybe Bailey faces her or some shit. I don't know. We'll see what happens on Raw tomorrow. All right. Next up, we got... Uh... Oh, no. Before this match, so it was... Another segment in the ring with Snoop Dogg and Mila Miz. And then, uh, so pretty much Snoop Dogg uh, gets an opponent or whatever for him. It's Shane O'Mac. Shane O'Mac's back for one night. Oh, he gets in the ring. There, Snoop, uh, Snoop left, leave the ring, or he's on the outside somewhere. And then something happened. I don't know. The Miz was going for a move, or he. Shane swing him into the ropes and then the Miz in the ropes and the Miz came back and then Shane like fell to the ground. I think he injured his leg or some shit. Might have broke his leg or torn his quad or some shit. So Snoop Dogg had to come in and he just fucking drilled the Miz once and then he he picks him up again. He drills him twice in the face. And then Snoop Dogg pins fuck I mean, he did the people's elbow. This shit was fucking straight comedy. And he he, he went the wrong side. Supposed to go from right to left. He went from left to right. And he hit the people's fucking head or his shoulder or some shit. This show's hilarious. And he pinned the Miz for the win. So Snoop Dogg has a win over the Miz. Show's hilarious. All right. Next up, we got uh, Edge versus Finn Balor in a Hell in a Cell. We had Brood Edge versus the Demon Finn Balor. Uh, Balor hit a clothesline on Edge, and Edge drove Balor to the cell. Edge hit uh, Balor with some kendo sticks. There was like red kendo sticks, blue kendo sticks, and like the regular color. Some shit. I don't know why there's so many colors of kendo sticks. And then uh, Edge trapped uh, Balor with the kendo sticks. So he like uh, he took one kendo stick and put it through the the cell in the corner, and then another one, and he trapped in Balor in there. And then Edge hit a drop kick off the apron. Edge set up a table on the outside, and then Edge hit the execution. Uh, Balor hit his sling blade back in the ring, and then he drop kicked to Edge the tail into the table on the outside. Edge hit a kill switch, and then he threw the ladder. He pulled out a ladder, and he threw it at Balor. And then Edge set up a ladder in the corner. In the ring, and then uh, Finn Balor hit a coup de gras for a two count, and then Finn uh, he climbed the ladder, and then Edge hit him with a kendo stick or whatever. He just chucked it at him, and then Edge hit an execution off the ladder for a near fall. This shit was an insane spot, and then Edge set up a table in the ring, so Edge is on the table. Finn Balor like go uh, looked look like he was gonna hit him from the the springboard off the top rope or whatever. But then he said, fuck it. I'm going to go to the outside. And he climbed on like to the middle of the cell and he fucking, he jumped from all the way there. And then he went for the coup de gras, but edge moved out of the way. So he missed and he went crumbled, crashed through the table. Edge hit a spear for a two count. And then edge hit, uh, uh, Balor multiple times with the chair. And then Edge uh, hit him with a concerto for the win. Hell of a match. Hell in a Cell. This is probably the third best match behind the main event of Night 2 and the IC title match. So still a hell of a match. So, yeah. So, Edge wins a feud with Balor and Judgment Day. Hopefully, this shit's over. And then uh, Finn Balor can move on to a new feud. And so can Edge. So, we'll see where it goes. Or who they feud with next, both of these guys. All right, next up, we got the main event. Roman Reigns versus Cody Rhodes. Uh, Cody hit a drop kick. Roman hit a powerbomb, and Roman hit a suplex. Roman slammed Cody into the entrance ramp. He had a body slam. And then Cody, he slammed Roman into the entrance ramp. On the rampway or whatever. And then the ref wasn't looking. His was turned around. Solo hit Cody with a chair into the side of the ribs, and then Roman hit a drive-by, and then Roman hit a clothesline for a two-count. And then Cody countered Roman's powerbomb into the announce table. 
like he did a back body drop or whatever to the announce table, and then Cody hit a Cody cutter on in the back of the ring for a near fall. Cody hit a suicide dive, and then Solo hit Cody with his uh with his belt that he wears around his uh, tights or whatever. It was I guess it was ringside. And then the ref threw Solo out. He saw this. And then uh, Cody hit a cross crossroads for a two count. And then Roman hit the Uranagi. I thought it was rock bottom. It was a Uranagi when they showed the replay for a near fall. And then Cody hit a pedigree using the boss's move for a two count. And then Roman hit a Superman punch on Cody while he was in midair. This shit looks fucking badass. And then... Cody locked in a figure four. Roman countered it, and Cody got to the ropes. Uh, Ro uh, Roman hit a spear for a near fall, and then he applied the guillotine, so Cody fights out of it. by just He slipped his head out and just punches the shit out of Roman Reigns. He eventually gets out, and then Cody went goes for a kick. Roman moves out the way, and he knocks out the ref. So the ref's down, and then uh, Cody hit a clothesline on Roman Reigns. So both guys are down. And then the Usos show up out of nowhere. They double kick, uh, double super kick Cody, and then they hit the 1D on uh, Cody Rhodes, the one and done. And then now uh, KO and Sammy, they come out through the crowd. And then they chuck the Usos out the ring, and then KO hit a stunner on Roman. Sammy hit a haluba kick on Roman, and then all the four of them brawl into the crowd. And now it's just Cody and Roman in the ring. Cody goes for the pin. He's like crawling over slowly to him. Roman kicks out. A lot of people thought this shit was over by now. And then Cody pays homage to his uh, to his dad, the Dusty Rhodes, the bionic elbow. And then Cody did uh, two crossroads. Paul Heyman distracted the ref. He tried to get in the ring. And then somebody in a hoodie came up out of nowhere. Solo Sokoa. He hit the Samoan spike on Cody. And then... Roman hit the spear for the win. So Roman Reigns retains the title. He's still the champion. And he's going to look like he didn't hit a thousand days. And then I think after that, I don't think he's going to have the belt at next year's WrestleMania. So he'll probably lose it at Money in the Bank or SummerSlam. So Cody can't finish his story or whatever. So we'll see where shit goes. Maybe there's a rematch at Backlash next. Or I think they'll save it for a stadium show, the rematch. Cody's gonna win. I'm thinking maybe Randy Orton can, because he since he was uh, they were in the same group and he was a leader, so he taught pretty much Cody Rhodes in the beginning of his career, I guess. He could uh, talk some sense, or he could help Cody win the title, I guess, or what else? maybe the uh, Bloodline turns on the Usos. Jay Uso can help uh, Cody win the title, or. I don't know. See where this goes. I don't know much, how much longer Roman's going to have the title for. Yeah. But we'll see what happens. So, yeah. That was it for Redos Minya. Hell of a show. All right. See ya.